say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. Did you just nearly fall out of the bed? No, it pinched it the wrong way. What your hip or your knee? Back. Okay. Hip for knee, back. <laughs> um, anyway, you all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I thought that I would come and discuss with you guys the reason why we've been AWOL for a week? No, really, yeah. For about a week. So, last Thursday, I was doing meds, and I was just like, we're running out. Pharmacy hasn't sent a text message to say that they're there, so I'm going to have to ring them in the morning and try and get them to deliver meds. So, Thursday went along fine, because it was bedtime meds that I was just like, hmm, haven't actually had a um, text message yet. So then on Friday morning, I rang them up and said, I want to book meds for us to be delivered. And they said, okay, let me have a look. And then, so they said that Charlie's meds hadn't been ordered. And so I said, well, how does that work? Because last month you guys got it wrong and you messed it up, so I, was on the phone to the pharmacist who did it right then and there on the phone. Did I say that the right way around the phone? Then and there. Let, let me, let us go, let us know. Did you say then and there or there and then? Because I, I always, I always say then and there and you always say it's wrong, don't you? Like it's yeah. not the normal way. Anyway, um, irrelevant, but funny. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, okay, well, how does that work then? Because the pharmacist ordered them over the phone. She asked me every single medication, and I said yes or no. Um, and so she said, okay, well, I'll have a look. And she went away and then came back and was just like, yeah, they're definitely not here, so I'll just put a prescription through now for you, and they'll be here, I want to say on Monday, when this was Friday, but I don't think it was that quick. Pretty sure it wasn't that quickly. Um, and for, the, for that Friday, because we found out on the Thursday, and that Friday, um, at five o'clock, they said, we managed to get this lot together, if you want to oh yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be uh -huh. Yeah. So, yes. So here's what happened. They said that they didn't have some of them, and that um, they would have to order them in, and that they would be there on Monday. Which in itself is hilarious because when you order meds now, it, they say that it can take. It needs to be done five days beforehand. Um, so clearly at that point they knew that they'd messed it up and then um so i hung up but then so they ordered them in and then charlie went the whole weekend without meds i also went the whole weekend without meds because obviously we weren't gonna pay five pounds just to have my meds delivered um monday morning on monday we waited for a bit and then rung them and said that we wanted to book the delivery and they said that that was fine. So then we paid the five pound for delivery and then they said, well, actually, even though you've paid, we don't actually have all of the meds yet. Um, so some of Charlie's are missing and um we like we can only give you what we've got and so i was just like well what's missing like because if it's just like one thing that's missing 
that she can deal without for a few days because she needs like the really important ones um and then they said that it was basically just a migraine injection that was missing because they're out of stock which i thought was funny anyway because if it's out of stock then even if they waited they couldn't give us another one anyway so i don't know why that was relevant um but so i booked to have our meds delivered which is five pounds because five pound per household um but then literally five minutes after it was literally five minutes wasn't it yeah literally five minutes after i got off the phone she put your phone down yet no she rung me back and said was it your meds as well that you needed and i was like yes you said that they were there on friday when i rang up because you said that it was just charlie's that wasn't there and she was just like yeah they haven't been ordered and i was like why not again i spoke to the pharmacist like last month and then when i spoke to you on friday they were said that they were there and so at this point i was getting really peed off as you can imagine um because I'd been like... You'd been about your meds for a week? Yeah. Well, it had been about half a week at this point, I think. Because we ran out on Friday. Yeah, we didn't have any on Friday. And then it was... Monday. So, like, the weekend. Um, which, with mental health medications, a lot of the time, if you miss them things go downhill pretty quickly basically um so yeah so there was that and so i was just like okay well what are you gonna do then because i need my meds because it's your guy's fault you messed up because you said that you put the order through when i was on the phone last month so what's going on and then they um said that she'd sent them an email across to the doctors to get them done as soon as possible to send it back over so that then um, they could hopefully get them out to me that afternoon in the delivery because even though like even though they don't start delivering until after two they've got to be sorted before 12 so I was just like fine okay then um, and just, you know, left it, and then, like, five o'clock came around that evening, and I was just like, I don't think we're getting any of our meds, and then, probably, like, half five, six-ish, there's a knock on the door, and I was just like, about time, and then, someone who works, like, the actual manager of the Boots, um, pharmacy was stood on my doorstep well our doorstep I was going to say my doorstep because I was going to say missing my meds but stood on our doorstep um with two bags of meds for Charlie and absolutely nothing for me and so I was just like okay what's happening with my meds then and she said well I emailed the pharmacy up uh, pharmacy to doctors but they never got back to me and then it was too late and I was just like well why didn't you tell me to contact them and then I would have done it and tried to hurry it up more but then by that point obviously it was too late because it was like six o'clock doctors and pharmacy had shut so it was another day without meds thankfully at this point Charlie finally managed to have some meds because she was not doing good she was she nearly passed out um multiple times yeah not not necessarily having migraines like she was previously this, this was different wasn't it i would much rather have i said it to you i'd much rather have the migraine and vomit in than mm. what i was going through yeah you were just exhausted and I just lost my vision dizzy multiple and, times. yeah you weren't that great no. Um, but yeah, so then Charlie en ended up having hers. 
and then um the next day was tuesday oh no, no no so the the um manager said to me sorry that's my hand at the side of the screen the manager said to me that she isn't in on tuesday but that she had contacted the people who would be in and said that my meds are to be sent free of charge on the Tuesday. Um, like, as soon as they get sent over from the doctors, they need to be done straight away so that they can be sent out. Um, and she was all apologetic and everything. And then, um, that was, that was that, another day without meds. And then Tuesday came around and I rung at, yeah, so, um, there was that. And then, um, so I rung up that day and they said that they weren't in yet, but that I needed to pay five pound to have them delivered for when they do come in and I was just like no I don't have to pay the manager said because it's your guys' fault because you messed up with ordering my meds and we paid for Charlie's that actually we don't have to pay and then she was getting all like nasty on the phone um and stuff saying that we have to pay and then I was just like I didn't pay and then I we ended the call and then we didn't didn't we that's when you had your breakdown gave me the phone okay okay yeah that happened okay so what happened was I started crying <laughs> on the phone and said why why is it that yesterday the manager said this and now you guys aren't doing it when it's your fuck up i haven't had meds for like for half a week or whatever my mental health is going downhill rapidly i'm not coping and all of this stuff and i was just crying on the phone and then she went quiet and then somebody else came on the phone um but just as that point because i was like crying and I couldn't do it anymore Charlie said let me have the phone so then Charlie took over and spoke to them and said well what are you guys going to do then because the manager said yesterday that we don't have to pay etc etc and then um, Charlie just said well you guys need to sort something out because my wife's here having a breakdown and she's not coping and like we need help and she needs her met something needs to be done and so um they ended up hanging up on her that day she rung the doctors after that um to get to see if they could do like an emergency prescription of just like one lot of meds that we could get from tesco so that like they could start kicking in my system because I wasn't coping at all um and uh they didn't know if they could because it was the pharmacy at them so then they had to sort of go off and speak to reception and everything and then they found out that they couldn't do that because the prescription had been sent down or whatever and then in the end they said that they because i charlie said that i was having a breakdown and i was really unstable they booked in for the uncle doctor is it uncle the uncle doctor to give me a call before the end of the day to try and sort something out the doctor shuts at half six seven o'clock rocks up (laughs) no phone call so yet again another day with no meds and left without 
um, a phone call as well. So then, what day are we now? Wednesday, was it? The next day after that? So, yeah. And then Wednesday turns up. I did not want to contact them for obvious reasons. And then... Regular which morning. day was it that they, they said that they weren't there and then later on I rang them and said... I just wanted to check that my meds were on the delivery and then that, that's when they said no they weren't because they only came in half an hour ago and I was just like well what are you guys going to do then because I'm confused I've lost my days sorry that this is so backwards and forwards I've completely these this past week has that been was a, on Tuesday was because it? we hadn't had the delivery yet, we rang up and it was like, right, okay, what so the hell's going on? And there like, we go oh, then. Well, you're not getting on. There we go then, that's what happened then. And then on Wednesday, I rang up again at like 10 something because Charlie said, you need to ring the pharmacy. And I was just like, I don't want to. And then I did. Um, and I asked to speak to the manager because Charlie told me to because I wouldn't have thought of that and then I spoke to her and I was just like I don't know if you were the one who brought Charlie's meds but you didn't deliver my meds yesterday and you tried to make me pay again so why aren't you delivering my meds to me and all of this stuff and then in the end she said that they spoke to the pharmacist and the meds had been ordered what happens is they fill out the form it, it like over the phone when you have your previous meds it goes in a bag and then gets sent off to the doctors and then a month later or like three weeks later whatever your meds your like filled out prescription comes down and then they sort it out and somewhere along the line it disappeared weirdly for both of us but mine, for whatever reason, longer than Charlie's. Probably because they didn't realise on the Friday when I rung that mine was missing. They just said that it was there when it wasn't. But anyway, so both of our meds went missing and they said that it wasn't the pharmacist's fault, which I find a bit difficult to believe, quite honestly, because if both of our meds went missing then that would have meant that everybody else's meds went missing if it wasn't the pharmacist's fault because they all would have been together and that makes sense right yeah so i don't believe that unfortunately for them and then um in the end she sent them out that day and basically took no responsibility whatsoever no apologies or anything um nothing so then by that point it was wednesday and i didn't get the meds until like five is it five ish probably yeah. somewhere around there um so then eventually at that point i had finally managed to have some meds but after not being on them for that long it like they're still not right in my system yet i don't think i don't think i'm there um so that was fun and what we've done now is instead of having them manage our repeats i've got the repeats and there's this app called well i think it's well pharmacy but it just comes up as well um and basically you can get your medications delivered for free so um like the, it's free delivery if you have to pay for your medications you still have to pay for your medications if that makes sense i don't know if you pay for your prescriptions then you still have to pay for them yeah but the delivery is free yeah um but yeah, so I'm trying that with my meds this coming month in the hopes that 
it'll be good and then if it if it works for my meds then we'll do the same for Charlie's meds from that point on um, and hope that they do it right because it's been every single month now for longer than COVID it's not just because of COVID for longer than COVID but it just seems that things are just getting worse um, so yeah it's been a really great week with not having meds and not coping with things so yeah we wanted to tell you guys why we weren't here for the week um we're back now whether we're gonna be back solidly or not we will have to see um anything to say no no are you gonna look at the people you look pale. But yeah, so that's it, really. In a really big nutshell. I was just gonna say long nutshell. In a really big nutshell. Wow. Again, <laughs> again, apologies for this being a pretty long vlog of me just rambling I'm, and getting I'm gonna things. I'm going edit up. as much as I can. Yeah, good luck with that, babe. <laughs> but yeah, so clearly things aren't great still but we will say good night it's gonna save us we'll see you tomorrow good night everyone <laughs> <laughs>